Hi, in this video you will learn how to set up a Twitter wall for your event. You will need access to a website, a Twitter stream aggregator, and a projector. So let's get started. I have my website on Weebly, at least a test website. So I need to be able to get um, at the back end of the website because with the Twitter stream aggregator um, I actually need a place to embed some HTML. So here's a, a test website and in my case um, all I have to do is simply drag and drop an element to embed some custom HTML. So I have this area ready and um, what the public actually sees is, uh, is a page that looks somewhat like this. So this is the page that you will point your projector um, and right in the middle is where you'll have the, uh, the events Twitter stream uh, appearing. So your projector is going to point to this URL. So for your event, you might have uh, your unique URL, part of your website, or you can set it up on a free website. Um, but this uh, URL is important, so we'll come back to this in a few seconds. Okay, so we have access to the page that the public will see, and we also have access uh, to the back end of the website where we can actually embed some HTML. Next, let's set up our Twitter feed aggregator. So I want to use a platform called Cover It Live. It's a free platform uh, and it comes with loads of benefits. So uh, let's um, register for an account first. And just uh, fill a very short registration form. Just fill the form very quickly and, uh, and just leave the, uh, the defaults as is. Uh, as soon as you enter the CAPTCHA, hit I accept, I've read the terms and conditions, and uh, register. You get a message that says the registration was approved, and uh, you can actually proceed to your account right away. So, when you go to your account for the first time, Cover It Live uh, asks you to pick um, from one of two products, or at least one or two, one of two options. So, uh, I build and run Cover It Live events, hit continue, and now you have uh, the option to select uh, one of two types of products. One is the Cover It Live Premium, or the other one is uh, the Cover It Live Basic. The Covered Live Basic works very well, and especially if you're a nonprofit, uh, this is the way to go. Um, it's free of cost, and uh, there are no ads as well, so it's a very good platform. So I'm going to choose I want Covered Live Basic, and, and I'm going to hit Continue. You're able to upgrade the um, the membership uh, at any time, so I won't go into that right now. So just click My Account, and now you're on the Covered Live dashboard. You may get a pop-up or two for the first few times, uh, but you can ignore that. So on the left-hand side of the Covered Live dashboard, you'll see, you'll see a link that says Add New. So basically, you're adding a new event. Uh, hit that. And um, there's a, a very short form, a sort of a wizard that takes you through setting up the, uh, the Twitter feed. So, um, so I'll just go into that uh, right now. First, enter the um, the event's name. So, um, and then the location of the event. And the location um, here refers to basically the URL. So, in our case, um, it's it's the page that uh, the public is actually going to see which is this page. Right, so I'm going to grab this URL and um, add this right into the wizard. So uh, there are a few mandatory fields. The category is mandatory. Suggest um, I'm going to select education. 
your event might have something else. Um, the date, I'm just going to leave this today, but if your date, uh, if the event is um, sometime in the future, you can actually future date it right here. Uh, the time zone, time, and so on and so forth. And uh, just hit next. Notice on the left, your event's gone from add new to upcoming. So it's an upcoming event because we haven't yet launched the event. So, uh, so we're still setting it up in, in a sense. So in the event setup, let's just scroll down a bit more. Um, and we'll come back to the embed code here in a bit. Um, let's just uncheck these additional options that you know enable reader attachments, uh, show in the live listings. But what you want to check is add Twitter feeds. OK, so let's just uh, scroll down a bit further. Now you have the ability to simply add uh, lots of Twitter users, Twitter users that you actually want to follow in the event. So it's probably the official Twitter account of your uh, of your organization. Uh, you can add uh, maybe the, the Twitter feeds of a few key people with the organization who you know are going to be tweeting throughout the event, and um, um, and just uh, add their names. But most importantly, what you want to do is uh, focus on the search terms and hashtags. So um, in this example, I'm just going to use uh, the Nobel Prize because that's actually trending. Uh, on Twitter right now, so you might actually see uh, see a lot of tweets uh, uh, in the feed. So I'm going to add that in, and you can add uh, various um, sort of versions of this, right? So Nobel Peace Prize, and I'm going to put that in quotes. So so that string uh, is what you know is is pulled right into the aggregator. Um, and you can just add the hashtag of your event. All right, so just add that in. And um, um, let's just scroll down a bit more and hit save. So we're not going to launch the event yet. We'll just hit save. All right, so now your event, um, it's part of the upcoming events. And at any time, you can hit Launch Event Now, and uh, it'll bring uh, a ticker right in the front. And then you'll be able to uh, to moderate the, the Twitter conversation in, in a way. But what I want to first um, do is I want to actually embed this ticker onto my website. So I'm just going to hover over these icons here. And uh, on the third one, at the present time, it says post to site. So I'm just going to click that. And uh, what happens is you get um, uh, an embed code. right? So I'm going to copy this and take this back to, to the website, uh, at least to the back end of the website. So in a place where I have um, click here to embed some HTML, I'm just going to drop this in, um, maybe center the, uh, the widget. And um, and hit save. So in my case here, it's simply publish. Great. So let's uh, have a look at what the the public actually sees. I'm just going to refresh the page. So in the middle, uh, we have the, the the Twitter stream of the event. So we haven't yet launched it, but uh, this is what you want um, your projector to point to. Of course, you can you can sort of adjust the width of this um, of this uh, the widget basically. So you can make it much broader, and um, uh, if it's broadcast on a on a big enough projector, um, people in your event, whoever's attending, they'll be able to see what uh, everybody else is talking about. So let's go back to Cover It Live and uh, launch the event. So it says Launch Event now, and I'm going to hit Launch. So you'll actually um, 
you'll get another prompt before the event actually starts to, uh, to you know, are you sure you really want want to launch the event? So just hit yes, and um, you'll see the the Twitter feeds and the search terms that you entered. They've been validated. Hit close, and uh, here you can start entering, um, uh, you know, welcome, welcome guests. And uh, you know any 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 other information that uh, that's that's pertinent for uh, for the audience to see, right? So that's going to pop up here, and as tweets start emerging from your event or conference, uh, uh, it starts coming right into this Twitter feed. What the public sees, on the other hand, though, is this page. Oops, that was my email. Uh, I was referring to to this website, um, the one that your projector is pointing to. So as you can see, um, if your event hashtag is being used by everybody, if the search terms that you chose uh, were pretty appropriate, um, uh, they'll actually start um, populating right into this Twitter stream right here. So um, so it doesn't end here with covered live. Um, you're actually able to to edit some of the content within the Twitter f Twitter stream itself. So uh, just in the uh, sort of unlikely event that um, there's some off-color comments, you're able to edit uh, this uh, real time. So let's have a look at how that works. So I'm going to go right back into the uh, you know the the streams dashboard, and um, when I hover over some of the icons here, again it says live edit. So let me hit live edit. And um, uh, apologies to uh, this person here. So what you can do is simply just hover over the tweet, uh, hit edit, and then you know you can just say uh, you know maybe correct a spelling or um, you know just uh, I mean you're not altering history in a big way, but uh, but uh, that's what you're really doing. You are actually uh, altering history a bit. So um, so you're gonna do that and then just hit save, and that actually pops right up into your. Uh, to your events stream. So, um, so that's that's how you set up uh, a Twitter wall. So, um, so what you need to do is simply um, monitor the the Twitter stream, and then um, you know just uh, uh, add information that's helpful for uh, the people who are attending your event. And um, uh, at the end of your event. Uh, you need to sort of close this entire dashboard. So when your event wraps up, um, the far uh, right icon here it says "End Live Event." Um, you know, just say you know thanks for attending, attending, follow up, uh, follow up here. You know, add a link or two, uh, hit send, and then once you're fully wrapped up with the event, uh, just close the event. Are you sure you really want to end the live event? Just hit yes. And that's that. Your event is complete. What the public sees once again is right here. So it says um, the covered live has come to an end. And uh, they can actually replay this event, um, uh, you know, once they come back to your website. And now the embed code of this widget um, is not sort of doesn't necessarily have to be on this one page of yours. Uh, you can put it on any blog post. Um, uh, you know you can actually go back and edit the content of the uh, of the tweet so you know it's it's coherent and you know, it's a nice story for the entire day and um, and you can just publish it for the world to see. So uh, there you have it. That's how you set up a Twitter wall for your event. Oh, the last note is uh, just make sure your projector is actually um, sort of uh, as many projectors as you have. Just make sure they're all pointing to to the to the to the web page that you set up, and make sure that the computers that your projectors are sort of uh, running um, uh, they basically don't have a screensaver that that kicks in or uh, the monitors turning off and things like that. So, so you just want to pay a uh, little bit of attention uh, prior to the uh, to the event setup, uh, just to make sure that these things, um, you know, are working. Um,
there you have it. If you have any questions, uh, just leave them in the comments, and I'll, I'll try and get back. Thanks for watching.